happy Valentine's Day. I love you with all my heart. Oh, isn't that lovely? But that's a kind of funny expression, really. I love you with all my heart. It makes me think of a verse in the Bible. To love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. But that's a lesson for another time. Today's lesson is about Paul travelling again. And it's lesson number eight in your worksheets. And in the Bible, it's in Acts chapter 16, verses 6 to 15. And Paul and Silas have been travelling around and they've been uh, spreading the good news about Jesus. And at the start of the story, it's quite interesting because God is working in their lives through the Holy Spirit. And sometimes they think, we must go over here and tell the people here about Jesus. And actually, the Holy Spirit tells them, no, don't go that way, go this way. And they go to another place. And even Paul had a vision, like a special dream from God. And there was he saw a man saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. And Paul understood that they needed to go there to tell the people the good news about Jesus. But Paul actually went with Luke. And they were going to learn something about God working in people's hearts. It says that there was a lady called Lydia and God had been working in her heart and her heart was open to receive Jesus. And that sounds a bit strange. You think the heart opens and if Jesus goes in, what does that mean? But really, it means that in your heart, you believe in Jesus and you receive him. And one of the verses we are using this week is in Romans chapter 10, verse 10. It is with your heart that you believe. And Lydia, she actually loved God and worshipped God, but she didn't know about Jesus being God's son and Jesus being the saviour that would take away her sins. And Paul was able to tell her and some other people the good news about Jesus and she believed in her heart and received Jesus as Lord. She became a Christian and she made sure that her family and her household, they heard the good news about Jesus as well and they all became Christians. And to show that they had become Christians, they also were baptised and we talked about that another day. Now maybe you're thinking but what, what if I want to know about Jesus but my heart isn't open? What if God is not working in my heart? Well there's lots of good news in the Bible. There's a verse that says if you seek God you will find God if you seek him with all your heart. And the other verse for this week actually tells us in Jeremiah chapter 24 verse 7 God says I will give them a heart to know me that I am the Lord. So you can pray and ask God to help you to know Jesus and you can accept Jesus into your heart. There's a little prayer that some people might know and it says come into my heart Lord Jesus Come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Now, another thing that Lydia and her friends did after they became Christians was to show love. And as a Christian, we want to show love to other people. She showed love to Christians by making sure that Paul and Luke had somewhere to stay. And she showed love to other people, making sure that they heard the good news about Jesus. And today is Valentine's Day, so lots of people are showing love today, aren't they? And sometimes we have kind of silly ways of showing love, like this is an emoji that people use, and it might mean, I love it, when you see that emoji. And sometimes we have a heart, and if you love something, it says, I heart horses, but of course it means I love horses. And I was thinking that we could show some love this week. It's too late to send a Valentine's card now, 
but we can send some love to other people. Um, you could maybe colour in the verses and decorate them with hearts and send them to somebody that needs to know about the love of God. Or you could maybe make up your own card. There's a wee love heart to make sure we know it's about love. And you could write a verse in it about God loving them or about how to know Jesus. You could maybe decorate your own heart and write a Bible verse there. And when you send these letters or cards and verses, you might want to pray that God will work in that person's heart and help them to receive Jesus. And maybe you don't know Jesus today or you haven't received him as your saviour and you can say that little prayer. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today, come in to stay. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus.